series of messages here of vlogs on the subject of yielding our rights to God and that there are two things that are evidence uh, in our lives that are, that are proving to us that we're not yielding our rights to God that is anger and worry fretting anxious and and anger wrath and uh, and so why so we want to conquer that in our lives as believers we want to do that and we covered a series of me um, sorry scriptures concerning the um, uh, anger, and now we're going to continue on that here in Ephesians in chapter four and verse thirty-one. Look what it says there: so "Let let all bitterness and wrath and anger be put away from you." I love it when God is clear, and He's always clear, but with in incredible clarity, He says, "Let all, not some, but all bitterness and all wrath." and all anger be put away from you. In other words, it is a responsibility of me to do it. And you say, I can't do that. I can't see. God would not give us a command that he would not help us do. God's grace is sufficient for you to let all your bitterness, all your wrath, all your anger to be put away from you. In Colossians chapter 3 and verse 8, the Bible says, but now ye also put off these. He says, anger, and wrath, and he goes on uh, more in the list, but those are the ones we're looking at here, is anger and wrath. Put them off. If, you know, listen, God does not tell you to put off your anger for his benefit, but, uh, but he tells you to put your anger off for your benefit. Listen, anger is the opposite of meekness. And we cannot have both in our life at the same time. You cannot have meekness, which is a, a humility and the absence of anger, and, and have anger in your life. Either we operate in one or in the other. We're either going to operate in anger or we're going to operate in meekness. Anger is strength. Anger is power or authority totally out of control. You know what meekness is? Meekness is strength, power, and authority under control. And so ponder that right there. I'm, I'm going to repeat that. Anger is strength, power, and authority out of control. A meekness of strength, power, and authority under control. And look at this here when we think about him and our Lord Jesus Christ. It's amazing. It says, Jesus was the perfect example of meekness. And you know, you know what that means? That means no one has more strength and power than Jesus or authority. And yet when crucified, his strength, power, and authority were under control. I mean, Jesus was king of kings and lord of lords. And he had more strength than anybody. In fact, by the power of his word that he created the, the universe. And by his authority, he rules things. He's the Lord of lords and king of kings. And yet, you know, when, when on the cross that he kept that under control, he, he kept his strength, his power and authority. They were all under control. If, if anybody had a right for it to get out of line and, and respond be, being felt like he, um, his rights were being violated, this King of Kings and Lord of Lords would be that person. And so as, as we continue this, this study on yielding our rights to God, let's ask God to help us walk in meekness. Let's help God, ask God to help us lay aside anger and wrath. And let's ask God to clothe us with meekness and humility. And we'll take up here next week. People are looking for answers.